Hey, 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 it's your favorite nigga, mine. <laughs> Back to these ribs, you dig. These Mickey Picky ribs. Let me see if I could change it around this time. All right, let's see. All righty. Let's get these infamous ribs out there. All right, y'all can see that, right? Close the fridge up real quick. Yeah. There go them ribs. Now we're going to bust these bad boys open. And you're going to witness me uh, getting it on with these here ribs. Now let me see if I can't set this camera up so you can see what I'm is doing. Say what I'm is doing. It's your favorite nigga, man. More love in here. Here, sit right there for a minute, man. Let me find something to uh, to work with right quick to help me out. Yeah, you're in the man cave, all right. <clears throat> but you're in the man cave. Uh, in the man cave, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Seems like that's coming from the kitchen. I don't know, let's see. Like so cool. The smoke. This is like comes from the kitchen. Fix all this up, man. Oh, let me see, man. Ah, there we go. At last, we got a little something going on right here. So, let me see. Yeah, let me get my knife. But, dude, yeah, you can't listen. I'm going to use it. Matter of fact, here, I want you to look at me right now. See? I got on my white. You did. Got on my white. You did. You did. We're going to get these ribs to pop it. Don't fix these here ribs. Let me see. Let me get something to set this up here, right? <laughs> Get something else. Let's see. Hold on. Let me get a. Let me get something with a little weight on it. Let me get water. You need some more love right there. So we can uh, set this up real nice. I want y'all to be able to see. I want you to be able to see me. All my great nie nieces and nephews and other families and sisters and their children, they know this kitchen well. This is the Cora Lee kitchen, to be honest with you. The Cora Lee. That's my mom's and pops. Their grandma and Chantel's uncle. Chantel Gunther, if you know. What's up, Chantel? What you doing, baby? You doing all right? Uh, yeah, we doing the same. Th I'm doing the same thing. I ain't going to never be all right. <laughs> Till the day we climb them stairs and head that way. See them again. You hear in the flesh, anyhow. But here we go, y'all. Now, look at here. I'm going to move my thing because we're going to... 
we're going to put some love on that. We're going to put some more love on that. But first thing first. See my knife? Sharp, ain't it? Sharp as a razor. Cuts good, don't it? Sharp as a razor. And he says, if it's sharp as a razor, why is it taking you so long? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Now watch, I'm going to show you a little something. Watch this. Something. Nobody else going to show you. But I'm going to show you real quick. I learned this in the packing house for sure. My mother used to do it all the time when we was kids, little kids. And the steel. I'm going to show you how to get your edge right. How to get your edges right. Hold on. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me see. Let me look back over here. All right. Let me see. All right. Here, let me move that over here like that. So y'all can see me and what I'm doing. All right. So you see, I put a little dishwashing liquid on there. Got my edge right now. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna show you this right now. See this edge on there? See, you don't want to flatten it like that. You want to go on a 45 degree angle, 35 to 45 degree angle, and you want to push it away from you. That was for those that's just now learning how to do it. And then you go this way. Of course, move them fingers out of the way. Like that. And then. You can feel it when you rake your finger across like that. It's sharp. All you want to do is get that blade. Now you got a rough edge and you got a soft edge. This one right here is the rough edge. This is the soft edge right here. Like a, uh, what you call a, uh, uh, you know how you, uh, emery board. This is, this is soft edge. That's the emery board. But you go like that principle. You can go this way or this way or shove it that way and shove it back that way. But all the time, you shoving it to go that way. See? So that you're pulling down the blade that way. But this is the rough end so that you can file it in. Like that. And get your edge. It don't take much. You know what you're doing. Like that. Like that. So. That's two way. That's another way too. See how I did that? Drug it back like that. Hold on. Drag it like that. And then push it forward like that. But you stay on your angle. See that angle? See that angle like that? Because what you're trying to do is make an angle to come to a sharp point. Boy, I should be on forged and fire, huh? I don't know. One of these days I might. Go on there and get some of that, that money.
Show them boys how to work some steel for real. And then you just smooth your edge out from your roughness over there. Sort of glide you glide, you you'll feel it. Alright, you'll feel it. Yes, yes, yes. Coral Lee. She floats. She yet little. Then you take your steel like this is. Right? Now you notice how I did that. You come like this. What you're trying to do is straighten your blade out. Right? Now, when you get good, like a chef, you just do it like that. It won't take a whole bunch of pressure. All you're trying to do is make sure that if, like a saw blade that you see, one going this way, one going that way, and they sharp, they own the angle like this, right? And when you rake it across there, it's steady sawing away the wood. Well, this one, you don't want it like that. What you want is you want a smooth blade one line so you can take it and you go like this or like this here what you wanna you don't wanna you don't wanna do that what you wanna do is real smooth like that and you can go this way too And if you do, you see where I'm at? You start back here in this back. Like that. And rake cross like that. And that's how you get your knife right. Your knife right. Get in. Now let's just see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Look at that, look at that. That right there, butterfly your ass good. Tell your ass something, boy. That's what I mean when I tell a nigga, I don't need nigga. No, no. Don't start messing me, no, no. Turn this knife backwards and shank you right in your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you put it in everything, you put your arm up or whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna get it too. You gonna learn to get your ass out of my face, nigga. Leave me alone, goddamn. All about your goddamn business. <laughs> There's something for you women. You, you, you know, you get these hard head niggas, they don't know what no mean. Get out my face, goddamn. Leave me alone. Get that knife. Stab, start stabbing a bitch in the face. It'll be all right. Won't even have time enough to get his gun. You just start just, just, just get all in it. Now, look at these reels. Look at it. Now, hold on. Let me, I put him in my sink. My my sink is impeccably clean because I knew I was gonna come on here and do this. Show y'all this, right? I knew I was going to get on here and I ain't want to shortchange it. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. That's me. All the day long. Now. Now, other cooks and chefs, they like to cut that fat off. Oh, you want to cut the fat off? No, not on this one. And the reason why, or any of them for me, I don't cut that off. I'm going to tell you why I don't cut it off. Because it adds to the flavor and the aroma. Now, what I do take off is you see this membrane right here? This is called a membrane. See, and that's one reason why you want to sharpen your knife. Because you want to get that corner started. 
Okay, we go. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take the time to show you about these videos. So you that I ain't just be talking, telling you some shiznit in the club. Shiznit. Ooh, I, ooh, I, watch your mouth. And you want to get it started. And the reason why you want to get it started that way. See, it glide right on the meat and you ain't cutting off the meat. You getting that. See that? See that? You don't want the you don't want to cut the meat. And besides, ain't nothing going anything. You just want to get it where you can get your hands on it. Start pulling it, start pulling it back. start pulling that on pulling it down see once you get it it's going to start just coming on off like chitlins you know I'm a chitlin king I can I clean them I don't have no problem cleaning them. but you want to know the problem with chitlins these days you get nothing but a bucket of trash. Straw and all kind of bits of chewed up uh, and crack corn or whatever you want to call it that they was eating on grain or feed they be feeding which ain't nothing but some corn, right? Crack corn. You put the corn in something and split it up. Yeah, see? That's what you want. You want, see that? That's what you want to get off them ribs. So don't let no, some people, they're lazy. They, in my opinion, they're lazy. They just don't want to do it because they don't have the patience to deal with it. Now, if you think that's when you look and you see if there's another layer. Okay, let's see. Stick with me, as the boy say. Stick with me. Stick with us. <laughs> Just be patient. We ain't going to put it on no grill right now. A process, you need to some good read. Now I just might stop now. Don't get me, get me wrong. I might slow up because I got the majority of it. That fire gonna cook the rest. Be too thin. To hang on like the like that does. It's hard to get it off. Now, let me see. So pretty much that's what you got, see? And it don't make no difference because you got the majority. That you got all that off. See, all that came off of that right there. Just one more time. This is what we're dealing with, right? It's by Swift. That's who processed this. It's pork loin, back, uh, back ribs. Give me my baby back, baby back, baby back, chili, baby back, real. Mickey Vicky ribs, huh? The ribs, huh? It's the ribs, huh? Oh, that she good, huh? And that, oh, that she good, huh? <laughs> Is that she good? That she good, huh? 
All right, you want to wash your ribs down, man. You just want to wash all that, all that blue, all that blue it off. Of. But I'm keeping the fat on there. There's a reason I'm keeping the fat. Now, in St. Louis, as Honorable Red Fox would say, in St. Louis. He would go in here, trim all that off. But see, let me see, let me show you something. That's that cap. When it cook right, boy, that's 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 right there. That's what everybody be looking for. See that? When you see that marbling in there, that's what they be looking for. That's what they be looking for. Right there. See that? St. Louis, they cut that, make it square. That's kind of where it look like now, it's square. Now you cut it somewhere in here and shorten them up and box it up. Then there you go. That's St. Louis cut. I don't know if they do in Kansas City, but the gates be popping. You hear me? The whole city know that's their signature. I don't care where you came from. That's the first thing you're going to smell is what's in the air around here. They be like, you don't know. You mean you don't know? You don't know. All right, let me go turn my water off right quick. I'm going to show you how to love. How to put how Mo Love does it. You need. Y'all gonna understand my name. You gonna understand my name, baby. Mo Love. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mo Love. All right. Yeah. Um, now look at him. <laughs> I had plenty of these. I had every kind. My dusty sister Brenda. <laughs> yeah. What you what you doing? What you up to? <laughs> so dusty. So no. Nah, um, anyway, I bought a lot of it. I bought plenty of it. Damn it. Every time I go to the store and get I go and buy brand new. It's all kind of apple woods, all kind of other. But that's what I be putting on here. I be putting some lure up on it. I start with, I use that. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I usually use crab poupon, right? But we're going to use this nigga. This nigga him. <laughs> Brenda, you better be paying attention. You asked me when I, I had to shock you and Tony in your mouth and show you that I can cook. See, you want to know why them ribs was tasting so good. They popped in your mouth and you said, oh. Yeah. What did you do? They don't taste right. Um, they don't taste it. No, nah, they don't taste the way y'all been cooking. I'm going to teach you. I'm gonna, you. You in classes in session. Do you know who you meddling with? Hmm? You just look at me, hang with me, I'ma show you. But you ain't been around this long, man. For nothing. It takes a fool to learn that love don't love nobody. Don't make me close on my door Cause I don't wanna hurt anymore Stay in my arms if you dare Cause I don't wanna hurt no more 
Don't walk away from me. As I have nothing, nothing. If I don't have you, baby, back rib. If I don't got you, baby, I have to hit y'all with some Gregory. <laughs> hey, talking to the beers. Talking to the beers. It applies. <laughs> that coffee spiller. But baby, he's singing to the food. You thought that song was for you, didn't you? <laughs> That's what Ply said. You, but I bet you thought that song was for you. You nasty. <laughs> you funky. I was talking to my ribs. You thought I was talking to you. <laughs> I would talk to you, bitch. <laughs> I would just check on you, bitch. <laughs> I would just check on you, bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how you put love. So, y'all thought it was back and forth. <laughs> no. This is love right here. You got, to, you got to be nice to it and rub it in. I know y'all probably looking like, damn, I wish your hands was on my beak right now. Mm -hmm. That's what you get for this mo love. You can get it just like that. Just like that. You can get it like that. Ta-da. Right now. See? Snoop Dogg. And Snoop Dogg. Stole Martha Stewart, took her in the <laughs> Snoop Dogg. He stole Martha Stewart, gave her them stacks. She ain't come back. <laughs> gave her them stacks. No, she ain't come back. Nah. He said, "What? Nobody paying no attention to Martha Stewart? It, it, it sucked all her energy out, all her everything like that, there." And then they act like they ain't wanting them out. I'm nigga said, come on. It's you got so much life left in you. It's just typical people. Typical. When they get what they thought was the best, they don't know they left the best on the plate. Get eaten. Now. Now Nara. No, I'm gonna show you. See, you might make a mess, but it's all worth it at the end of the day. It's all worth it at the end. I wonder what Mo Love be doing in the man cave. I'm showing you right now. This is like a cane, baby, because I am. Bibi the Kane's nephew. Get All right, man. Pull that out. Why? Because we don't we don't want our water and we get ready to do this right now. Oh, let me wash my hands right now. Again. Now you wonder well, why you wash your hands? You let me go put your hand back in. This is why. See him? I don't want to make no mess, that much of a mess. But I'm going to show y'all. See how I'm laying that rib down? Yeah. Trust me. It's going to be in there. You like that there, see? That on the meat. On, on the meat. That's on the bone, but guess what? Y'all gonna learn something today, man. I told you, man. Y'all, y'all messing, y'all messing with a real nigga, man. This with a real nigga, man. Somebody told you a lie. You just come talk to me. Come talk to me. I talk back. That's what we do. What it tell you, Little Rock? Come talk to me. We talk back. We talk back. They ain't lying. 
Might not say nothing to you when you see her. You just say hi every time. If you did, you did, nigga. But that's okay. If you do, ain't nobody mad at you. Not at all, not at all. Not very at all. Not at all, not at all. Right? Trust me, when you sprinkle this shit here, man, on it, you ain't really got to do all of that. They be putting the whole thing on there and wasting the whole thing. It's going to go on. It's going to get where it need to get. Trust me. <laughs> now, if y'all want, some, want me to rock you some ribs together right quick. <clears throat> now, I'm fixing to give you my telephone number. My telephone number, you can catch me right now after the, my show right here. Ribs part two. Prepping it real. I'm at 870-308-1888. And it's me, Mo Love. Brothers and sisters, me, Buggy. Family, you did. Pull a fast one because you know AT and T and them be bullshit, man. They take all your goddamn money. Comcast and them, they do the same thing. They, man, if I knew better earlier, man. If I knew better, it would have been better. Right here, man. Bullshit. They rape you. They rape people, man. They be charging you. For the first hookup and everything every month. And they know people don't be, they be so just trying to live, man, until they just do. That's fucked up. You dig what I'm talking about? They got a problem. I hate them motherfucking people for that. I cuss them the fuck out on that phone. I say, y'all be doing uh, senior citizens <laughs> and uh, people on fixed income and, uh, Elderly people, especially, they don't know nothing about all this computer savvy shit, man. And then y'all just rob them and rape them. Man, get the fuck on. And everybody tries to play like, oh, I'm just doing my job. I don't know no better. I'm just doing a job. <laughs> yeah, they teach you to do that shit to people and don't give a fuck. Hell, we're starving. Living in a goddamn cardboard box while y'all all living it up and raped every goddamn body. You can't see this. This is garlic. This garlic helps you. Uh, blood helps you. Um, your blood pressure helps uh, everything like that. There. You just want to sprinkle you some on there. Your heart. Your blood pressure and everything. Trust me, when you leave this joker in him. You put this on here. You can see where you're sprinkling that. It'll automatically do what? Hang on to it. Because that's what the mustard was doing. You see, I put that mustard on there, right? Like that there. Like that right there. Oh, wait, hold on. Pull one more thing. Turn it over right quick. Push some up on there. Okay. You gotta just keep your taste buds right. And you keep your taste buds working right. You ain't gonna go through all that. Like, boy, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get in there, get into it. AT&T, uh, uh, 
Comcast and all them folks, many full of shit. You know, have people thinking you're doing the big just because you got all this bullshit in, the, in your yard. You come and get that shit. I got the hopper. Oh, I'm watching TV over here. I'm watching TV right here. I'm watching it. Shut up. I'm trying to take a dookie. I can't see or hear what you're talking. Yeah, see that? See that? Right, talk your shit, bird. Talk your shit. Mom, clock. I had to fix that clock, man, because it, it stopped. Something happened to the thing. I took a whole nother one, a brand new one, and fixed that one. I mean, I did some technical shit to it, man, to make it so that that bird would do just what it's doing. So it's five o'clock, y'all down here but uh check it out let me see i don't want to make no mess all right so i was talking like shit but there you go see them reels see that turn the water off see this nigga him <laughs> okay. Hold on. And what I use. All right. I sprinkle some of this nigga him. <laughs> like my nephew say, uh, black. This nigga him. <laughs> this nigga him. And this nigga him. This nigga him. <laughs> Yeah. I love something. That fire going to start talking. Start talking. Why? Goddamn, why? They're going to start talking. When they still, when that fire start talking and them ribs get to rapping, you know what that is? Black. <laughs> My nephew says, Black nigga. Been this shit. So, y'all hold on, man. Let me go get me another, some more gloves, right quick. All right. So, you stay so up in your hell, man. Yeah, you got damn right. I stay up in my house. A lot of people's fucking eyeball bitch. And the nigga got something to say. You just shut your fucking mouth because I ain't in your yard. Get out of my grass, motherfucker. I, I don't even talk to sneaks. I don't talk to a fucking sneak. The way you think I ought to. I make that bitch wiggle around. And you want to hear. This is Mo Love. I'm in this Mo Love. You did. I got it for you. Baby, I'm Mo Love to the day I die. You understand? I'm giving you all the reasons why. Don't make me close my door. I don't want to hurt anymore. Stay in my arms if you dare. Cause now I don't wanna <laughs> anymore. Oh snap. Uh oh. Turn back around. Come on. Oh, let me turn back around. There we go. The vibration. 
Don't make me hurt anymore. I don't want to cry no more. Stay in my arms if you dare. I don't want to hurt anymore. Don't walk away from me. Cause I'll have nothing, nothing if I don't have my goddamn ribs, damn it. <laughs> Black! <coughs> Shit, what? Fuck, I told you. Black! No. That way. Stay in my arms if you dare. I don't wanna hurt anymore. Oh, don't walk your ass from me, yeah. You'll be nothing, nothing if we don't screw, screw, screw. <laughs> <laughs> now you see that you see that I ask you who that nigga on that neck block <laughs> oh no you didn't why your daddy being rolled over his goddamn grave you put this be goddamn bed bug shit all up in the house the pillows and shit <laughs> My nigga got a Silverado, my nigga. That motherfucker going for $36,000. And he's staying firm on that shit. $36,000 or just don't even talk about it. You can't afford it. And the 36s don't come with it. Yeah, 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 son, that way. Gotta get with it. Cause you can go find them same vehicles, man. Especially in Omaha. Go and try to find them motherfuckers. Wrecked. Them motherfuckers is easy. 20, uh, 20, 10, $20,000. They could be fucked up. They ain't firm. They ain't that sick. And he won't cash. A man won't cash. You can go right down there on 16th Street, right there, 16th and Nicholas. And he got a bunch of them. Brand new fucking cars, man. Brand new shit. The shit people like, you play Hellcats, anything. And that motherfucker have been total, total. You come in there and you figure you just gonna get it for a couple of hundred dollars, man. You done lost your mind. Like man, you go out the store. Go out the store. You don't obviously you don't know what you're looking at. Tell you what, if you sell a thing less than that, man, you're either a faggot or a fool. $36,000, you make a motherfucker come out of their pocket and pay, don't get nobody fucked, ain't nobody thinking about you. <laughs> well, then it look good with you sitting in and smoking a blunt. What the fuck? You know, how you gonna give anybody else a deal and you wouldn't even give your own family? Like, I want that thing from grandma, man. Let me give you, like, let me give you seven G's right now, man. And then, goddamn, I'm gonna. I'm gonna work out the rest of you. Like, hell no, nah, some fucking wrong with you, man. Who's going, man? I ain't got time to talk. But here comes somebody with 2,500 dollars and shit. Like he's doing you the biggest fucking favor, man. Like, damn, homie, I thought we was real, man. Who is we? No, we ain't. Cause you coming at me like I'm a punk, man. 
You like grease my ass all the way up. And you trying to tell me something about a fucking Bitcoin and some other bullshit. Some other bullshit. And wait for the rest. You know, I'm still got some. Now, that's how that goes. Down. You ain't got no money. We ain't fucking with no broke niggas. You understand? Man? We ain't got time for that shit. If you look at it, you know what it is. Give me my money or don't, don't, don't talk to me. I need to talk to me about that. You talk about anything. Time for motherfuckers to make good on that bullshit, all that front. Bitch, you got the money or you don't? All right. Then. Now, as you can see, that's the baby back ribs doing his own right there. I'm going to show you how to get it done. Let me see. <clears throat> I'm going to keep that little piece of cap of fat right there. Or that. Uh, membrane. I'm just gonna, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to keep it. Because later on, I'll boil it up or do something with it, right? So it's edible, but I ain't going to eat it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to my dogs. And yeah, all the little dogs died except for one. He's strutting around here. I gave him some wormer the other day, last week or so. He was doing kind of bad, I seen. Him. He's doing better now. He's struck. He got his balance. He running all over the yard. I'm gonna leave him. Uh, 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 I'm gonna make. I'm gonna leave him to be a yard dog. I ain't putting him in no chamber. I want him to be free. Just free to roam the yard. He gonna be that one. One of them ones, you did. That your ass don't belong in there. You know how a dog is real sneaky. He get right up on your stinking man. Oh, you don't belong in here, do you? I don't think you do. Fuck you doing here. Better yet. Black! <laughs> Black! Let me miss the rest of them. Bunny. Marcellus. Oh, Fabian. Tui. Am I missing anybody? And uh, crazy ass uh, Terrence. They're all loony, but just the nephews, y'all hang in there. Be strong for your grands, you hear me? Have some class to your ass. That's what I was telling you when we was all together. Have some class. Grandma's boys for real. You did. Damn, you out, Grand? Well, fuck it, I'm out of this bitch too. How many other people feel that same damn way, man? Be like, man. Fuck it, I'm out too. Fuck this shit, man. <laughs> I'm going with you. You know what I'm talking about? Straight up. You fuck gonna be feeling like that for real soon. Lord, fuck. I'm out this bitch too. It ain't the life, ain't shit. It ain't. It ain't all, it ain't shit. We all in a goddamn hurry to do not, absolutely not a fucking thing for real. Now, y'all just hold on. All right. All right. In the kitchen. You turn this back around to me. All right. Bugs buggy on the scene. You did with his ribs. I'm going to have to show y'all. The real skills. Motherfucker got me toe up from the flow up. You heard me? Yeah, there we go. 
all year. And uh uh Chantel's grandsons. Uh Julie David. Oh, Tishana. Your boys. Hold on, let me do this right. Hold on, let me do it right. Let me do it right. All right. That's what y'all left around here. It's still there. I I cleaned up the refrigerator. And them pictures that y'all made when your last was here, y'all was here to the end. I, I left them up. I put them right on back where y'all had them at. Shana boys, Chantel's boys, grandsons. They ain't no punk. See, look at here. Even got Brenda's fish. This is the food Brenda left in here. All this the food Brenda left in here. She caught some little dusty fish. <laughs> uh, everything pretty much the same. Just clean the dust off everything. It is. I'm that good nigga. I'm that I'm I'm that nigga, man. I don't change shit. If it's good, it's just gonna stay good, you hear? If I fuck up something that ain't fucked up. Now D. Yeah, let me see, man. Let me prop this up so y'all can see me. Right? I can see me. Now this is what I'm wearing, y'all. See what I'm talking about? Now. Uh, I'm a hundred, I'm two hundred and two pounds. This is all that's left in the man cave. I'm trying to get it off, y'all. Two hundred and two pounds, this is what it is. Yeah, it is. Sashay and all in the house, sashay. <laughs> sashay in the house, see that? Hold on, let me let me get that to you one more time. Right? Bam, there you go. Got a little bit left to go. This what the women be be crying about. This what the, this what the women be crying about. She got a little, but that's okay. Whole lot of play. <laughs> I ain't on the dollar, baby. My play. You got a whole lot of shit. Ooh, I'ma suck down on your fruit pop. Yum yum <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, you might, you might, yeah, tomorrow your tongue, you, your tongue will start twink tingling and twinkling, and you had that green shit pouring out your mouth, boy, you been sucking on a woman, you don't know that what's it was good or not, for real, back in the man cave one more time, let me put some light on the subject, so y'all know, my love keeps it moving. Faggy cops can't touch me. The fuck did them? What, what the fuck did them? What he tell you? What fuck did Bun tell you? The faggy cops can't touch me. Man, do you not see? Did realize you just ran a red light? The faggy cops can't touch me. Shit, let's get money. Top a nigga don't like no bread. Type of nigga don't like to get money. Ah, now, that's how you prepare those ribs. You did. Took a few minutes. But, and you let them suckers just lay in there and marinate. You did. Ah.
Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you fucking with Mo Love. Coral leaves, you floats. Coral Mom and pops, they stick you. So that's what we've been doing in the sweat box in the man cave. Because it get hella hot. I'm just going to let you know that. But we wasn't sweating it. Man. Once, you yeah, nigga, what I'm talking about, we, man, I was. Take the perf take the example, take the advantage of that heat. <clears throat> Let it cook all that fat off your head, man. Cause if you ain't been doing nothing but sitting and shit, that's what you gonna look like. You just be sitting and shit. Till you need some help with all that. That's not even funny. So I ain't said to be funny. Just know that. And even if you get that big look, so what? You get it off, but you ain't. <clears throat> Don't go to the deep end. Don't go on the deep end. You dig, especially if you can't swim. But I feel you. The same thing that a person feel when they love one go. Like, fuck this shit, man. It's only worth it because of them. You know what I mean? Other than that, this world was shit. They was the life. It is. See why is it so low? All right. Let's figure out what's wrong. See? Tiger, uh, lion's tail is still jacked up. It's all right. We'll do something later on.
go, gone. Let's see, where you what's the problem? What's the problem? Because what did it do? Is it have all that? I don't want that. That I don't want to do it.
<laughs> wow. <clears throat> Go back to back in the days when they were jamming. The real funk come from, yeah, the real funk come from. Thank you. 
so I was playing that wrong. <clears throat> Never missing a beat, yeah. Oh, it's so sweet, yeah. The girl's a freak. The girl never misses a beat. Hey, hey, hey. She's not just deep, deep. She's only deep, deep. She's a freak with me.
So what it slipped out and hit the booty hole. <laughs> And I just kept on going for a hot second. You didn't say nothing to me. Girl, if you don't say nothing, I ain't going to say nothing either. Yeah, we got a round hole. <laughs> that son of a bitch was toy. Right on the header. <laughs> Scared to let your man have some. If it slip out, let him have some too. Sin. <clears throat> Ten years ago, my baby left me broken hearted. She thought that I was cheating with some other. But something's evil to hurt my soul. get to that one. I mean, I always forget where it go. But we'll be back. Sounds good.
Still don't seem like I, don't, I can't figure it out. Just, just by ear, right? Let's go, and then how to resolve it. Well, y'all, <clears throat> we'll be back with some more love on the barbecue ribs. Yeah, did. And the bass guitar. Any other one? We're going to do some. You are in? We're going to make some happy beer. No fret. Some more love in the man cave. You did. And today we work with them ribs, right? Preparing the ribs to be fixed on that grill. So we got to next go and clean the grill. Make sure the grill right. Get it. Got to make sure you grill right. If your grill ain't right, your meat going to taste nasty. For real. So I shall return. Man cave. Bass guitar. And most definitely them ribs. Let on. Gonna build us some turret, but like I said, we're gonna go to the grill first on the Delta. You did. I'm Mo Love, and I shall return. 